when it comes to waking up in our mystical way of awakening, you are the only one that can walk this path. You are the only one who knows what is true. However, what happens to you, inside of you, because of, quote unquote, you, is that we take on these collections of false narratives from outside of self. And the reason why human design is so valuable and intrinsically, inherently sustainable is because it puts you back in touch with you, as in what's true for you, what's authentic to you, what's real and honest and necessary for you to align to, to attune to, in order for your value to truly show up in the world, for you to be called, or for you to answer the call, for you to be able to integrate into the foundation of things, or to be able to influence with such foundation. For you to be able to have the life that you were born for unapologetically and hmm, with no uncertainty, intrinsically, your value, you have value because you exist. And if you didn't exist, well, you're moving on now as far as this plane is concerned. So in order to help our clients understand the path that they're walking, the road that they're on, this being that is aligned, success, satisfaction, sweetness, surprise in life, or, and I say sweetness as a kind of my own personal interpretation experience of what it is to be a successful projector, it's sweet, it's valuable, it's so incredibly wonderful to get to that place where you can, in my terms, I rise to the occasion when there is a crisis, fifth line body. Yeah. So when you get to this place of being aligned on the path, wonderful, no need to go and get some consulting. But the very reason that we are here as human design analysts, consultants, coaches, whatever guides, whatever you want to call yourself, whatever you identify with. The reason why we're here is because now is the time for us to rise together and help humanity face its future in order to empower them to become their own authority. Because if they cannot do that, they are not going to be able to survive the coming times in the intrinsic value of the inherent sovereignty of what it is to be a nine-centered, awakened human being. This nine-centered, awakened human being, this form that dominates, this form that comes alive, this form that is your birthright, it has one precious life. This vehicle, this body, which is the life. On my YouTube channel, somebody recently asked me, what does it mean that the form dominates? What does it mean? Experiment for three and a half years and you'll see. See, and when I say experiment, experiment with the tenets of your design. I'm not just talking about human design. I'm talking about your design. What is your uniqueness? What is your truth? If you can stop paying attention to those outside of you telling you what to do, which actually speak with a little voice inside of your head, that's conditioning. That's conditioning over the lifetime, the little voice inside of the head. Separate yourself from thinking, thinking that the mind is who you are. It's not. It's not. It's not the full sum totality of what you are. What you are in this life is to be form principle with a personality riding around experimenting with what it's like to be conscious in this physical form. And in this physical form, when your form dominates, when your form runs the show as in, it's so much heavier, don't you know? We are light as a feather, personality as in, you know, the soul incarnate into this body vehicle form principle the form is the physicality and the truth of this reality is that your auric frequency is the thing that builds the body it's not the other way around so when you get right with the true you the authentic you the nature of you the reality of you the integrity of you 
No longer is your life filled with frustration, anger, bitterness, disappointment. Simple keys. The simple keys to this reality and the standard to which we uphold is not to some external authority. It's to each of you individually as your own authority. So if I say you are your own authority, this means then you can find everything inside of you relative to the integrity of you. And yet some of us in their spiritual mystical awakening to the beauty and wonderment of what it is to be alive in this form, some of us have transpersonal karma or experiences. Transpersonal meaning the mystical conditioning towards the mystical way of awakening has to do with others. And that is our beings who are personality four, five, and six, your mind transpersonal relative to the process of integrating with others in order to influence fourth line, in order to call fifth line, in order to role model or be separate from the tribe. Now that's different. 